My name is Alistair Lee, and in this video, I'm going to walk through the process of editing and creating event templates in Adobe Connect. Templates are used as blueprints to create the microsite to promote your event, as well as blueprints for all of the emails that you're sending out with your event. That includes things like invitations, reminders, and follow-ups. If I go back to my event here, I can see that there are two out-of-the-box templates to select from for my event. I've got the shared default template and the shared default template simple. To see what either of these will look like, I can click on the View button. Here's the default template. It comes with an event information page, a speaker information page, which might include a longer bio of my speaker as well as a larger image and an event registration page which includes the registration form itself. If I go back to my event and change this to the event default template simple, let's view that, we can see that this only includes two pages. Ideal for when you don't have a speaker or don't want to promote your speaker, it includes an event information page, an event registration page. We can edit these default templates, though, or create our own templates for our events. In addition to using templates as a blueprint for the microsite, which we've just looked at, you'll also notice under email options that every email that you send out is also based on a template. As we scroll down in the email options here, I can see the template that's being used. I can see a preview of it as I scroll further down what this template will look like when it's used for my email. And again, I can edit these templates simply by clicking the Edit Template link in any of these emails. As an event manager or an event administrator, I can also access all of my templates by clicking on Event Management and then Event Templates. And here I can select which template I'd like to edit. I can do the same thing for email templates. Here are all of the out-of-the-box templates for Adobe Connect. Let's take a look at this by clicking on the Edit Template button. This will open up the default template into my editing interface. Now over here on the right hand side, we've got something called a sidekick. This includes all of the components for my template. In the middle, we've got the template itself, along with a lot of placeholder images and placeholder text that will be filled in by our event information. And over here on the left is a menu that enables me to see all of my shared templates, for example, as well as all of my email templates, and even the ability to see and edit the template that's used for the catalog, the event catalog that displays all of your upcoming events. Rather than editing an existing template, I'd recommend creating your own custom template. You can do that in a couple of different ways. For now, since we're already on this menu, I'll click on the Create New Template button here. We're always basing a new template off of an existing template, so I'll select this existing default template, and we'll call this Custom Event Template. I'll hit Create, and that will create my new template and open it up in the Template Editor. While I'm here, the other way to create a new template is by clicking on the page icon in the sidekick and choosing to create a new template or create a copy of the template that you're currently looking at. Let's again take a closer look at this sidekick. I'm on the page tab here, which gives me the ability to edit some of the page properties. For example, I can click on page title and background and change things like the title of the page, the background color of the page itself, or the background color of the content that we've got on the page. So for example, if I want to change this to a gray, I can add in my own color code and choose OK. You may have seen an image tab there. We could also use an image to upload as my background. On the main page itself are a number of different components. Many of these, as you can see, come directly from Adobe Connect. So here's the large event banner that we upload as we're creating our event. Here's the detailed event information and our event name, our time, and some speaker information. If we click on the components tab of the sidekick, we can see that many of these different 
components from Adobe Connect are available here. So anything that we've uploaded as part of our event creation process are available here in the Adobe Connect section of our Sidekick. So if I wanted to include the speaker name, for example, I could simply take this component, click and hold and drag it out onto my template. I can place it anywhere here that I'd like. In addition to all of these Adobe Connect components, we have some other sections that are part of this Sidekick including a general section. This includes typical web components, things like text and images and tables. Again, to use one of these, I can simply drag it and drop it onto my template. Each of these components has a set of properties and I can select the component on my template. Once it's selected, you'll see a thick green border around that component. And then with it selected, I can right click and choose to edit this component. In this case, because it's an image component, I can add my own custom image here. I can, sim I can simply drag it onto this dialog box or click it to select something from my file system. I also have some advanced properties in this case where I can do things like set the size, some alt text, maybe a description to this particular image. Underneath the general section, we've got our Adobe Connect section. Underneath that, we've got some column controls. You'll notice this particular template includes a column control to give us one column for the event information and a separate column for some brief speaker information. We can edit this column control to adjust how the layouts should look. In this case, it's a 60-40 split, but if I wanted to change that, I can do that by editing the column layout. And finally, we've got some social plugins available in the Sidekick. If I want to add a Twitter share button or Facebook like button, I can simply drag and drop those down to my template. Here I'm editing my event information page, but you should note that you'll need to make these same edits to each of the different pages that make up your template. So if I go to my speaker information page, I may want to make the same change to the background that I made to my event information page. Go to page title and background and here under page color, change the background color and hit OK. In addition to event information and speaker information, we can also edit the event registration page. This page includes the registration form that our users will see as they register. To edit your form, you'll want to do that in the event information section itself. So this is not something you would edit in your template. To add new fields, to change the order of your existing fields, you would edit your event. The template itself just hosts the registration form object. One of the things we can edit here, though, is the behavior when somebody registers for our event. You can see here that we've got a property called on registration confirmation. And the default behavior in Adobe Connect is to show our registrant a custom message. And I can choose what that message says right here. If I prefer, though, rather than showing them a custom message, I can actually take them to a custom registration confirmation page. I'll hit save here by hitting OK. And you'll notice we've also got a registration confirmation page now that our users will see after they register. Here now I can add my own custom components to my registration confirmation page. We also have the ability to edit the event login page. This is the page that somebody will see as they're about to log in to our event, for example, just before our webinar starts. So I can continue to make changes to my custom template here by editing the components and dragging and dropping new components onto my template. All of these changes are saved automatically, but they're not made available until we activate this template. When we activate the template, we essentially publish the template out. This will affect any existing events that are using this template. Now, in this case, I'm just creating this as a new template, so we don't have any events already using it. But if we were editing an existing template, as soon as we activate it, which I do by clicking on the page tab in my sidekick and choosing activate template, this will affect new events that are created with this template, as well as existing events that are already pointing to this template. So be careful if you are making some edits to something like the default templates, for example. 
I'll click yes here to push my changes out to my published server so that all existing events will automatically adopt those new changes. I can do the same thing I've done for my event templates to my email templates. Clicking on shared templates here, I can make a copy of any of these or edit the default out of the box templates. That's a quick look at editing event templates in Adobe Connect. Thanks for your time.